Hey guys, it's Mist here again for another video today, and we are back with our Vancouver Canucks franchise mode, and uh, I'd like to apologize, because I really have not been able to upload a lot of videos the past week, week and a half really, um, and I, I apologize for that deeply, um, but this week... Uh, I should be able to get back to a regular upload schedule. Uh, I should. Now, uh, <clears throat> I've had a lot of schoolwork to do, and as you guys know, if you watch these videos, uh, I'm currently in college. I'm in year one of college right now, and uh, I am seriously, seriously busy uh, this October for some reason. Well, last week, this week, and next week, I've just, I have so much stuff to do for school. Um, plus, I mean, last week it was really hectic. Uh, this week I have a test tonight, uh, which I've been studying for, and I gotta study for after I record this, but I needed to get another video out for you guys. Um, I, uh, I have another test, uh, tonight, and then after that I'm pretty much free for the rest of the week, and then I should be good to record some videos for you guys, which is obviously the goal. Um, but, uh, we'll wait to see how everything goes. Now, uh, yeah, so we're back for our Vancouver Canucks franchise mode. Again, I apologize for that. We should be good now, so thank you for your patience, and let's get back into a regular upload schedule. Trying to do one, one video a day at least, but I, I really try to get two days, or two videos out every day, uh, but we'll see how things go. So, uh, let's take a look at our team, because I didn't mean to start on the screen, um, but it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. We, uh, are gonna sim through most, if, or, well, some of the regular season this year. We will see how things go. Uh, but guys, uh, once I show you this team, I gotta say, this is one of the, this is truly, I think, one of the best Vancouver Canuck teams ever. Like, truly, I think this is an incredible team. Uh, and I'm very excited to see how things go for us now. Uh, so obviously, let's uh, let's take a look at the forward core. So first line, we have Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who's here as a rental. Uh, he put up 71 points last season, arguably the best year he's had I in the NHL. Uh, sorry, let's go back to RNH because if, yes, he is on the last year of his deal. So as of right now, it is a rental. We will see maybe. We can uh, we can resign him. We'll take a look, come off season time, or maybe even in this episode to see what he where he's at with an extension uh, and see what he wants. Uh, so he'll be playing the first line left wing. Obviously, lists as a center doesn't have the greatest faceoffs. We'll have him on the left, uh, and then for our first line center, we've got Elias Pettersson. Also, does not have great faceoffs, but he is a little bit better. So. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll keep him there, plus he is the center I want to be working out for us. Now, he is listed as a two-way forward. I changed him to a two-way forward because apart from the physical stats, he is a very good player all around. He's got a great shot. He's very good with the puck. He's pretty fast. He's not like the fastest player in the league, but he's got a very high offensive awareness, like a very, very high offensive awareness. Plus, he has a very high defensive awareness, and he's very good defensively. If he was better uh, on the draw, he'd probably be one of the best two-way forwards in the game, like, truly. So, I'm going to try Patterson as a two-way forward, because we've got RNH, who's a playmaker. So, we've got playmaker, two-way forward, and sniper Brock Besser. Uh, he's an 87 this year. Uh, I mean, he can still grow. I hope he does, because he's still 24. He's young. Uh, and he's actually got a much more offensive side to him than defensive side. And one thing I like about RNH is that he kind of adds some speed to this line. Uh, he's not necessarily faster, but he's probably more agile of, or he's probably the most agile of the three. So we'll see how these three work together. If things aren't working out, we'll try something different. So that is going to be our top line. Pedersen, uh, obviously, he's still got five years left on that contract, five by nine. And then Besser, we are going to have to re-sign this season. So we will take a look at doing that. Now, for our second line, we've got Michael Furland back for another year. 
those are his stats. Very, very good two-way forward. Uh, he was as power forward because obviously he is a uh, pretty big, uh, pretty big man who can definitely throw his body around. He's still on a two-year deal, and he'll be playing with Bo Horvat, who will likely be named captain tomorrow night uh, at the time of recording this video. Uh, probably, like truly, maybe one of the best two-way forwards in this w in this universe, I guess, because his two-way stats are tremendous. He is so good defensively. 93 defensive awareness, 89 face-offs, 90 shot blocking, 96 stick checking. Like, he's unreal. Uh, if he was a little bit faster, he'd be even better. His physical stats are tremendous. I never even noticed that. My God. Um, but, yeah, Bo Horvat is incredible. He'll be uh, our second line C. Still two more years on him. He's, got a, he's on a tremendous deal right now. And then we look at Sven Berici, also on a two-year deal. He's going to be our second line right wing. Pretty good stats all around. Uh, now, for the third line, we've got Chris Kreider back for another year, Adam Gaudet, and Tyler Mott. They're all getting a plus three as well, so that's a very good third line. And our fourth line is Nikolai Goldobin with Brandon Sutter and uh, Jay Furtanen. So, again, a pretty good line. Uh, pretty good young wingers on uh, Sutter's wing, so I'm happy about that. Now for defense, uh, Quinn Hughes is an 85 right now, still 21 years old, so obviously still time for him to grow, Hope, hoping he will be able to grow into like where Tyson Berry is at an 89. We shall see. I wish I could play Berry and Hughes together and they get a plus three, but there's just nowhere where I can do that. And I feel like doing this the way I had it, probably evens out the team the best. So we've got Hughes and Myers on the top pair. They're getting a plus three. So Hughes will be, will be playing like an 88, while Myers will be playing like an 86. Then we have our second pair, who will be Ryan Murray and Tyson Berry, uh, who are each playing like an 88 and a 92. Now I believe if they're on the first pair, they don't get this plus three. Yeah, they don't. So that's why I have them on the second pair. We'll see how that thing or how those go. Uh, we'll we'll, t we'll keep an eye on it, of course. And then Alex Edler, our third line uh, lefty, and then Troy Stetcher, our third pair uh, righty. So pretty good to, uh, decor, if you ask me. Thatcher Demko is the starter once again. He is 25 years old and he's 87 overall in that legitimate starting goaltender. To see that, and then Michael DiPietro will be backing him up, listed as a backup goaltender, and uh, we'll see how he does. He didn't play great as a backup in Utica last year. We'll see how he does, though. Uh, it's funny because he was the starter two years ago, but he was the backup last year. That's weird. Um, but we'll see how he does in the NHL uh, here. He just played one game in the NHL and let up seven goals. That's not good. That's real, too. That wasn't me. <laughs> uh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully he has a better career than that. Uh, obviously, he is the backup goalie, though, for this season. Uh, we'll keep an eye on him, of course. So let's uh, let's get ready to sim, I guess, guys. Uh, we do not have a captain for this year. Uh, obviously, in the last episode, if you watched it, uh, or, well, in the, this is gonna, sorry, spoiler alert, in the uh, Stanley Cup, I am not trading Jet Wu for Matt Niskanen. Thank you, though. Uh, Sammy Botnin to Detroit early in the season, before the season even started. Uh, but, obviously, um, if you guys missed a, I think it was two episodes ago, I don't think it was the last one, actually, we won the Stanley Cup with the Vancouver Canucks, so I figured in the last episode, you know, why not go all out and try and get a repeat? because we've still got some players on good contracts, but we do have some players on some expiring deals. So 4-3-0 throughout the preseason. Besser leading the way in points, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue to take an eye or keep an eye on that, but I'm not too worried about the preseason. Yeah, 4-3-0, meh. Uh, as well, guys, want to let you know we are listed as a champion status team, and 
hopefully that means something. Hopefully that means we might be able to uh, become Stanley Cup champions for the second year in a row. Uh, I'm going to sim to the 1st of December, and we will see how we do. We win the first game of the season as well. It is our home opener, which is against the Montreal Canadiens. Very nice, very nice. But, uh, yeah. Let's see how Vancouver does this year. I'm excited to see this team uh, perform because I think it is pretty good. I first seen a carrot for Martinez. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> not a chance. Let's declare, get rid of everybody that's on the block right now because I do not want them there, uh, especially not Lind or Lundell. Those are two of our highly touted uh, ranked prospects, so I kind of like to keep them off the block. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why they're on there in all fairness, but whatever. Now, uh, let's continue simming. So, uh, yes, uh, we don't have a captain this year. I'm going to wait because uh, the Vancouver Canucks are going to announce a captain for uh, this season. And they're doing it in their home opener, which is tomorrow night. Um, so we'll see uh, come tomorrow. Uh, who their captain will be, and then in the next episode, we will name that same captain, assuming he is on the team. I have a very strong feeling it'll be Bo Horvat, but maybe it'll be someone else. Maybe it'll be Edler. Uh, maybe it'll be Besser. Maybe it'll be Patterson. Uh, maybe it'll be freaking Jay Beagle. Who knows? Uh, but I assume it'll be Bo Horvat, so we'll see. Uh, of, of course, you know, come Wednesday, uh, I guess, well, I guess come the next episode, the Vancouver Canucks uh, in this series will have a captain. So, 16-9-1 through the first two months of the season. Not bad. Uh, Horvat's actually leading our team in points right now. Nice. We're currently tied for second. Well, I guess no. We, we have second in the division because we've got two games in hand over the Coyotes. Uh, but the Knights are just one or just two points ahead of us right now. Uh, the Jets having a very good start of the season with 43 points. They are 24 and three. My God, the Preds in second there in the Central with 36. So they're still ahead of us. Nobody ahead of us in the Atlantic, and only the Hurricanes ahead of us in the uh, Metro. Although the Metro has not played a lot of games, uh, a lot of 24 games. In there. Out of curiosity, let's just see uh, who the hell is on Winnipeg, because <laughs> clearly they're doing something right. Uh, Line of Shifley Wheeler, so that didn't change, although I'm surprised Wheeler's maintained a 90 overall up at 35. That's the line in Roslovic and Connor, that's a six second line. Hamilton, Lowry, and Ehlers. Yeesh, poor Ehlers playing that third line. He is listed as a second liner. Uh, and then Little, Jankowski, and Wilson. So really, their team hasn't changed a, lo a lot. Defensively, they get Morrissey. Well, they do have Bufflin still, so that could be helpful. Uh, and then Pioch and Brodeen. So Brodeen's new. Uh, Sammy, new Sammy Niku grew pretty well. And then Jamie Alexiak is new. Hellebuck, still the starting goaltender. Not playing great. Comrie, though, a backup, is playing tremendous. My god. Uh, that is a very good tandem, though. Uh, definitely, definitely a good tandem. So, let's see. Uh, Horvat obviously leading our team in points right now, like I previously mentioned. Let's see where everybody else is around him currently. Uh, Besser with 22. He's got 15 goals, so that's pretty good. Uh, Nuge, 22. Hughes, 22. Pedersen, 21. Barry, 21. Although, uh, I notice there are a lot of minuses on the team. Why is that? Why are there so many minuses? Huh. I mean, there's only a few players that are positive players, like Ryan Murray and Tyson Berry are not doing good. Minus 11 and minus 12 for them. Um, why? Why? Why is that? Uh, let's take a look at our special teams. I wonder if it's special teams. Because... Um, for us, we are scoring a load of goals per game, but we're also letting in a lot of goals, which is not good. Not good at all, actually. Uh, we've got 26 power play goals. We've got a wow. We've got the best power play uh, percentage in our division. And then let's see, PK 
as well. Uh, our second best in the division. Okay, so it's not our special teams. So it looks like it just might be our goaltending, which is worrisome considering Thatcher Demko is the for sure starter that we are relying on. A 906 from him. I mean, Demko, or sorry, Di Pietro played one game, only let in one goal, although he actually only played uh, for a little bit. He only had seven saves. What is uh, what is Demko's problem? He's just letting in three goals per game. He's just not saving the puck. But I got to be honest with you, I don't know. Like, that entire top line is minus. Second line is minus. Wow, Bohorat, minus 12. Third line, minus. Uh, fourth line is positive, and I think Ma was positive as well. No, never mind. Just the fourth line is positive. Defensively, our top pair is positive, but then our second pair is awful. What is going on? Why is that happening? I feel like I have to change that. But like you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect. Like looking at stats, you wouldn't expect our second line to, or our second pair to be doing so bad defensively because they are very good defensively. Uh, fuck me, what the hell's going on? I might just try out a very defensive top pair in Murray and Myers, actually. Can I do that? Uh, they don't get a plus three. I, I think I might just try this. Uh, then do, or sorry, do Hughes and Barry, and then Murray and Myers, but Murray and Myers will be our top pair defensemen. Yeah, I will try it. But, like, I, I, I mean, I don't need to change up the special teams, but... Like, why is Bo such a minus? He's a minus 12, but he's leading our team in points. Like, I truly think it might just be Demko. He's just not making any saves, um, which is worrisome. And you know what? Out of curiosity, I'm going to try Di Pietro in this game to start. Let's just see if maybe it'll make things better, because... Uh, I don't know what's going on with... I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what's going on with Demko. He's just not making a save. So let's go against uh, the Edmonton Oilers here. They have a 10-13-1 record. They are at the bottom of the division, I believe. So let's see. First period. We're up 2 nothing. Nice. Koskinen is still the goalie in Edmonton. Poor Edmonton. Poor Edmonton. We won 3-2. Uh, not a great second half of a period for Di Pietro, but... He did have 26 saves, so can't really complain too much, which, I mean, if, you know, with those stats, he's been doing better than, uh, better than what, uh, than what Demko's been doing, so, yeesh, I don't know what to do. I, I feel like it might just be Demko not making any saves. We'll, uh, we'll give it another month, we'll see. Because, really, I mean, I don't know what I can do to this team. There are a lot of very good defensive players on this team. And uh, I feel by maybe making a trade, I don't know. Demko just let in six in the first game. I'm giving him. He let in three there. He let in five there. T. Pietro only let in two. He let in two there, which isn't bad. He let in two there, which isn't bad. You know, four more goals is just not good. Three, that's, yeah, I mean, that's okay. Three, again, that's okay. One, that's good. Uh, Edmonton, two, that's good. San Jose, again, one, that's good. So he struggled at the start of the month, and there's four. As I was literally saying, he struggled at the start of the month. Um, but I don't, I, I just don't know what it is. We are currently first in the division, by the way. We are second in the league, uh, actually. Um, and I'm going to go take a look at Demko's stats because, uh, I don't know, he hasn't really improved. Di Pietro has not done well either. Uh, I mean, he improved a little bit, uh, in all fairness. He does have 25 wins, just not a good save percentage or GAA. And I do not know why. Um, yeah, just a uh, quick browse through the trade block. Going to see if there's any defensive players out there that could help us. Not like tr not like an actual defenseman, but just 
defensive players in general. Charlie Coyle. Is he good defensively? He's pretty decent. He is a plus six. He is pretty decent defensively, though. Uh, because, you know, at this point, I may have to look at bringing in a defensive forward or defenseman. Uh, which, I mean, Jordan Stahl would not be bad. He would be our third line center, though, which is kind of an issue considering he's getting 5.8 plus he's an 85 overall. Nino, not a great defensive player, and I know I knew Hamilton was an offensive defenseman, but I was, you know, still worth a look. Jonathan Tays, but at 10.5, I really don't want that. Let's see, he would work on the penalty kill. He would work uh, on the first line, which I don't, I don't think I could do, unfortunately. Derek Broussard, he's get, I mean, I was going to say we could bring Broussard back, but he's getting a lot of money. Uh, and he's also looking for top six ice time, which I don't know if I could do. Donskoy wouldn't be a bad third liner. Uh, yeah, I mean, really, wouldn't be a bad third liner. Uh, Crawford, I'm not going to look at a goalie just yet. I don't think we should be looking for a goaltender. Uh, Nick Foligno, he's on an expiring deal. Very good defensively. Um, could play penalty kill. All right. And then two defensemen. Again, I don't really think we need to bring in a defenseman, though. Martinez, no. Again, don't need to bring in a D-man. Victor Rask, I mean, 79 overall isn't great. He's not very good defensively. Marcus Foligno is, though. And he's on a pretty cheap deal. Brennan Gallagher, oh, I, no. Uh, I was going to say, Brennan Gallagher is actually an option, but not at the term that he has. That is not a nice contract. Uh, New York, nothing. New York. Chris Tanev's in there. Could bring Tanev back. <laughs> uh, almost thinking about it, to be fair. Let's see. He's a minus seven, though. Don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, nobody in Nashville. Nobody in New Jersey. Nobody in Ottawa. Nobody in Philly. Nobody in Pittsburgh. Brent Burns is on the block. Okay. I mean, he'd be nice, obviously. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I'm not bringing in Brent Burns at 36 years old, who's on an uh, $8 million by the next four. It's just too much. Braden Shen isn't bad. I'll go Schwartz. Oh, not at that term. Not at all. I'm not even going to bother looking. Uh, Tampa, no. Toronto, Janssen. Is he good defensively, though? He's not bad defensively. He is looking for second line time, though, which I don't really... I can't really give. Uh, Comrie's on the block. No. Okay, well, I mean, there are a few options out there, like Charlie Coyle, um, who were some of the... Uh, Jordan Stahl was another one. Uh, I don't think Taves would be ideal. I think Donskoy would be a really good shout, in all fairness. Uh, you know, we can play him on the second or third line, or I'll probably third line. But I feel like Donskoy would not be a bad shout because he is probably more of a defensively minded forward. And if you look at this team, we do have a lot of offensive pieces, but uh, that might be able to help our bottom six defensively. Like Adam Gaudet, not great defensively. Tyler Mott, not great defensively. Goldobin, not great. Sutter's fantastic. And Vertanen is not great. So really, that would definitely help out our uh, bottom six forwards because if you look at our top six defensively Nuge is pretty decent Pedersen pretty decent Besser decent Furlan's incredible um, Horvat's incredible and Berchi's incredible I don't understand how this second line is doing as bad as it is uh, in the minor or in the plus minus category actually they've improved uh, in all fairness, it's just Horvat that's a minus now. Whereas for our top line, it's just I don't know. It's weird. Like on our top line, our wingers are negative and our center is positive. On our second line, our wingers are positive. Our center is negative. What about the third line? Negative, positive, even. 
Negative, negative, negative. Yeah, that fourth line is struggling now. I might have to look at t taking in Don Square. Well, more Murray has not improved, but Myers has improved. Now, Hughes has improved, and Barry has not changed. Edler has improved, but Stetcher has not improved. That just doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know what to do here. Because, again, our special teams is fine. Like, I don't need to change these. But I feel like bringing in some more depth might not be a bad show. And I really think Yunus Donskoy wouldn't be a bad option. Out of curiosity, let's see if, just to see, did the uh, special teams uh, change at all? So we still got an incredibly high goals for per game. Uh, we've got a pretty high goals against per game as well, although we are technically... Uh, second lowest in the division. Power play, we've got 37 power play goals. I mean, our power play is st still incredible. I'm not changing that. Um, and then penalty kill is still phenomenal. Uh, at least in the division. Let's check around the league. Let's see. So, um, goals four in the league. We are currently in third. So, yeah, understandable with Winnipeg's offense that they'd be up there. I'm not sure about Nashville, but I feel like that's pretty understandable as well. Uh, goals for per game. We are currently fourth, so, again, we're scoring goals. Goals for against, though, we are mm, middle of the pack by the looks of things, yeah. We're about midway in there. A very good defensive team is the Rangers, although they aren't doing good. <laughs> They just must not be scoring. Vegas is truly one of the best teams in the league. Uh, let's see. Power play percentage. We Wow, San Jose's power. Oh, my God. San Jose's power play percentage and Buffalo, for that matter, is awful. Uh, we have the best power play percentage in the league by a landslide. We are, tr we are tremendous on the power play. Uh, and then PK, we are still uh, the best PK percentage team like we are incredible on the power play or on the penalty kill as well uh, well the special teams we are just incredible i truly feel like we just aren't getting stops from uh thatcher demko which is a bit of an issue i must say now i think i'm gonna end the episode here we are 8 0 and 2 in our last 10 games which is pretty damn good uh we're about a month and a half well just a little bit over two, or just a little bit under two months from the deadline right now. And I know our team is playing very well at the moment. It's just I don't know what I can do about these minuses. I don't know if I can fix them or not. You know, I'm going to sim till February. I'm going to sim till February and see what everybody's looking like. We'll see how we do in January. Hopefully we continue to play well. Another win, but another four goals led in by Demko. See, we can outscore teams seven goals by Demko in that one. That's not good. Six goals from Demko. Three goals from Demko in a 6-3 win. Like, Nashville, we lose. Like, again, like, five goals. Uh, Jared Coro, no thanks. Five goals that Demko led in. One goal, that's good. I can accept that. Five goals again. Now uh, for the little all-star break, which I would imagine most, some of our forwards would be in there. Uh, Florida has fired their head coach. Now let's see. Philly, last, two, last game of this episode, 4-2 win. We are still atop of our division. I would imagine probably still close to the top of the league. Uh, yes, but the Jets are incredible. 79 points already. Horvat's still leading our team in points. We are 6-3-1 and one in our last 10, but let's see. Positive, positive, positive. Okay, good. Our first line picked it up. Second line got worse. Third line got worse. Um, fourth line also got worse, okay. Defensively, again, uh, well, actually, Murray didn't change, but Myers went up. Uh, Hughes went down and Barry went down, so that was not a good month from the second pair. And then Edler went up while Stetcher went down. I don't know what to do with this team. 
Demko's stats are horrendous. Both of our goaltenders are playing awfully. Awful. Just playing straight up awful. I mean, I don't know if there's anything I can do. Even by bringing in someone like Eunice Donskoy or Jordan Stahl, I don't know how much that's going to help our team. Uh, let me know uh, what you guys think we should do uh, in the comments, please, because I don't know uh, what to do here. We're about a month away from the deadline, really just over or just under three or four weeks. But uh, we've got we've got a pretty minus heavy team, but we are tr literally the second best team in the league. We have the best special teams in the league, but we just can't get a save. Uh, so do you think by adding uh, more forward depth, uh, defensive forwards, or a, def or a defensive D-man like Tanev or Jalmerson or even Demirs? Uh, from players that were on the block. Let me know what you guys think we should do. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.